All right. I know it's been a long time since I've made a video. Well, we'll get to that another time. What we're here to discuss right now is Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer coming out October 13th if you get the deluxe edition. 15th if you're with all the normies who are just getting the normal edition. I've been watching this game very closely. I've been making sure that this game is going to be worth my money because I am invested. I love Demon Slayer as a franchise, as a series, as a series as a whole. And watching the Demon Slayer gameplay has made me very excited because this gameplay is not only akin like we're play by play to the anime but it's also free form as heck now i have seen this gameplay already what i want to do today is go over the tech technical stuff of the game but what i really enjoy is that this game is free form now the best gameplay we've had up until this point is the gameplay from five months ago now where the Japanese voice actors first played the game, we first saw what this game was going to be, and they were just getting into their bag. Now this, this person right here, Zach, he is actually a gamer I found out from my wonderful girlfriend. I have found out that Zach is a gamer. Um, so he picked Hinokami Kagura Tanjiro. He doesn't actually touch Giyu this whole time, but he picks Hinokami Kagura Tanjiro. And he, he gets things started. And we're gonna see as we go in, we're gonna break down some of the the gameplay elements, some of the things that we may not have seen in the past. And you know, have a good time. So I have this muted for some reason. I didn't mean to mute it. And we're just going to get started. 25 minutes. I'm, I'm gonna have it uh, lowered. We're gonna be skipping through. It's not a reaction, reaction, but man, this game. Also, shout out to PS3. Uh, I did download this from his channel before it gets taken down 12 hours ago, but. You never know. You never know. All right. Now this, this seeing Zach first play this game, and also, do you see that bounce animation? See, this is what I'm talking about. This is going to be a breakdown plus a reaction type deal, but I've already seen it. But I also want to voice my thoughts because I haven't been able to voice my thoughts at all about this game because we haven't been shown anything of substance. But this, this right here, this is of substance. I'm so excited for this game. I really wish they gave us a demo, but I'll, I'll take what we can get. Look at this. Scorching Rush. Boom. Okay, look at this. Air spin. I don't know how this happened. I, I've watched this countless times. I don't understand what that is. It didn't look like a parry. And it didn't look it didn't look like a, a special because it oh maybe he did have the breathing. It is a breathing move. Air spin. Alright, well it's a breathing move. So what I've noticed from this gameplay, and I will point it out countless times through here. I may even throw it up on the screen as I say it now. What I've noticed is if you start with a breathing technique, the combo meter goes down faster. I don't know by how much I did not analyze it that much, <laughs> but you can you can start with a breathing technique, but if you start with a breathing technique, it goes down a lot faster. So you're going to want to open people up with your lights. First off, Zenitsu's dash is like top tier already. And Rengoku putting him in block stun for ages. He could probably push block, but okay. All right, hold on. Ooh. As you can see, again, red bar started with a breeding technique. Zach figuring the game out. Giyu able to restand. I know the quality of this video isn't too great, guys. I'm sorry about that. But as you can see, Giyu's water wheel able to restand because we know that Tanjiro's uh, 
Scorching Rush. That's what it's called. Scorching Rush. That knocks you back. So, Yu's assist is going to be really nice. Oh, look at. Oh, goodness gracious. You start with an assist, and the assist start is also a red combo. Dang, that's crazy. That's so much damage. That's so much damage for seven hits. Man, Rengoku's looking mighty scary. Zenetsu, a good Zenetsu player is going to be mad scary in this game. I can already tell. I can already tell. Look at that up combo, but he can't combo anymore. This is the first time that we've seen the combo bar. The combo wheel, my bad. The combo wheel actually go out. And you just can't hit him anymore. So you want to make sure you're starting your combos with a light attack, guys. Rengoku going crazy. Zenetsu going crazy. Look at that. Wasting four bars. Scorching Rush. Okay. Looks like that's going to be one of his bread and butter moves. Hinokami Kagura's bread and butter scorching rush all right now this is the moment where he does a big boy combo breaks the guard guys come on this game is going to have mix-ups now i did see that you can walk out if he starts doing the combo but look at this he rushes in boom 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 juggling him like it's tekken look at him blocking phoenix flash boom and also i don't know if it's because it's a breathing technique or because it broke his guard but as you can see red combo wheel but it's more than enough to finish it more than enough to finish it hinokami tanjiro gonna be mad crazy people gonna figure out some tech with him phoenix flash he's gonna be super aggressive all right big boy combo by zach look at this crazy 15 hits does so much damage let's look at that combo again this this combo is the kind of gameplay i've been wanting to see for ages mm. it's like you're playing tekken scorching rush scorching rush Man, Zenetsu really showing off that sidestepping movement is going to be very important in this game. Just as much as your assist. Look at this. He's bobbing. He's not even in Awakening. I thought he was in Awakening. Zenetsu's dodge is just this good. Here we are. Moving on to Anosuke Nezuko. English voice actors, heel bash, heel bash, heel bash, let's go, heel bash, let's go, one more, heel bash, yes sir. Dang, Nezuko kind of went in, I kind of turned my brain off for a second there. Heel bash. Dang, reset the combo, golly. Let's look at that one more time. Boom, boom, heel bash, okay, boom, boom, boom. Man, she could have kept going, that was crazy. Anosuke going in with some combos, let's go. Down combo, down combo, look at the, okay. I'm worried about uh, Nezuko mains because her dash is looking kinda slow, kinda slow. If you want to use her, it seems like you're going to have to actually understand how the game works. <laughs> mm, all right. Fifth Fang crazy cutting. Mm, mm, mm. That was a full combo. That's crazy. In those case, damage not looking too, too crazy before this ultimate. Mm. Push block into a combo. Let's go. Water wheel. Don't have to use meter. I do. I did notice that people were saying 
you're probably gonna have to use meter to extend his water wheel thing but it looks like you can attack so you can probably just call an assist if you want to if anything so due to me messing up my recording the video is unfortunately gonna have to stop here but if you guys want to see the rest of me analyzing the demon slayer stuff please leave a like if it gets 10 likes i'll re go over my video and uh you know break it down a little bit more the last two fights because uh it kind of got corrupted while i was making the video so <clears throat> For now, this is all that we have, and I hope you enjoyed the video for what it was.